What is good, Divine Diamond Squad? You already know what's going on in this video today, man. So today, I'm going to be reacting to the Truth Is video on Doja Cat's video, Paint the Town. All right, so this, I guess, is a breakdown of the video, and we are going to see exactly what's going on in it. Make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell the ancient mama, tell the uncle Joey spiritual. Let's get right into the video. If you're a routine viewer of this channel, then you should already know we have exposed Doja Cat several mm -hmm. times over. Doja is at this point open with her alliance. She wants her she fans is. to know exactly who she worships. Facts. For the last few months now, Doja has been acting with many people. She be on some weird shit. And the crazy thing about it is when I posted the video on my main channel about Doja Cat, the fact of the matter is there's always going to be people in the comments section who's sticking up for these celebrities, just brainwashed. Sheeple. I can't even call you people. Sheeple. In my comments talking about, oh, yeah, nah, that's just art. No, this is not arts and crafts, nigga. This is not art. This is dark. Like, how blind can you be? Like, these people worship these celebrities so much. That they would rather turn a blind eye to all the demonic shit that is right in front of their faces. Hidden in plain sight. It's not even hidden. They are throwing it in our faces right now. How is this art? Come on, man. I've been calling demonic. It all started when she shaved her head and eyebrows and then began all her strange satanic antics. <laughs> we all remember the eyes wide shut theme party she threw with all the celebrities in attendance wearing Weird. cloaks. I know Weirdo shit, yo. I know you guys remember the Masonic cake at this party. Weirdo After shit. that party, we went the over how she then got a bunch of satanic tattoos and started posting a bunch of satanic imagery on mm -hmm. her Instagram. Weird her Instagram shit. became full of satanic imagery. Weird. How it remains to this day. Doja went from a normal looking pop star to a gothic <clears throat> Satanist overnight. Even I was looking like Marilyn Manson. shocked to see the overnight change. Don't get me wrong, ever since 2021, before all of this, I knew Doja Cat was a Masonic puppet. Mm -hmm. Her music video with The Weeknd, you write, was full of Masonic imagery. Mm -hmm. Doja was seen singing over the checkerboard floor with a bunch mm -hmm. of other occult imagery, revealing who she truly worships. <clears throat> but I still wasn't expecting Doja to go from silly and perky like she was when she first got she in the industry totally to flipped. this. This is Doja Cat today. Far from what she was just a possessed, looking crazy as hell. A few years back, <laughs> people have been blaming her actions on many things. And for a while, I was looking into it, trying to figure it all out. I now have a complete understanding of what Doja has been doing. And it all connects back to this new music video. In Doja Cat's new music video, Paint the Town Red, yeah. not only do we see a bunch of satanic imagery, but we the see Baphomet. Doja reveal what all of this imagery represents. This music video was straightforward with the satanic imagery, and this is why so many of the you have requested I look into it. The video starts with a record being played on a record player. This opening scene was interesting, and it reminded me of the video of Taylor Swift and Ice Spice. Taylor Swift's video started with a record player, then instantly showed Taylor showing masonic imagery. It's the same with Doja's new music video. It starts with the record player, then cuts to open Masonic mm. imagery. In the Taylor Swift music video, the record <clears throat> player represents how the music was magic and how it's putting mm. a spell on the audience. Mm. In this video, it appears to represent the same exact thing. After showing the record player, we see the new Doja, or what she named herself Scarlet, sitting on a chair when out of nowhere, she removes one of her eyeballs mm. and places it on the table. She then pushes the eyeball off the table, starting the video. Crazy. This is obvious Masonic imagery, as we know the Masons have an obsession with the one eye symbolism, yeah. symbolizing the Masonic all-seeing eye. Mm -hmm. This early on identifies that this music video is going to be full of Masonic imagery. Mm -hmm. The video then continues with the eye falling into the clouds, as we then see Doja Cat riding a giant horned demon beast soaring through the clouds. Looking Doja stupid. is openly showing You look stupid. Showing yourself riding the beast. <laughs> this imagery only gets worse from here. This scene represents These people be so fucking ridiculous, bro. And Doja falling from <laughs> grace, just like when Lucifer was casted out of heaven. This is dull. why they show Doja's eye falling and then they depict her riding a giant demon in the clouds. She is depicting her fall from grace. From the looks of it, we can see Doja is happy with this decision. As she appears excited and happy, it's actually what the whole song is about. But we will get into that in a bit. People used to be scary. Like, now you're stupid. You just look fucking dumb. You know, After like... this, we can see Doja now dressed in all red, 
making her way to the Reaper. What's interesting <laughs> is that in Taylor Swift's... Oh, let me, let me go find the Reaper. You know, come take me. Music like, video what? With Ice Spice. Taylor also has a similar scene with her Reaper. We know <laughs> occultists have an obsession with the God of Death they or the Reaper off. as the pagans used to make sacrifices to the deity. This scene represents Doja flirting with death as in order for Doja to be reborn, which is the entire concept of her new project, she must first go through a spiritual death, hence the Reaper. The very next scene is Doja appearing as a blue demon with horns on her head. She can be seen being held by Lucifer in a burning end. Now, we can see the eyeball behind her, which now appears to have become an embryo. In this scene, we see Doja after being reborn, depicting her final transformation as a literal demon. This is where Doja cuts the cord of the embryo and is born again. The scene after this one was interesting as it showed Doja with a bunch of meat as if she was feeding some sort of demon. The video was obviously depicting Doja's fall from grace as the video starts with her fall from the sky all the way to the burning end. Doja is symbolically telling the world she sold her soul and she's okay with meeting a burning end as long as she can be famous and have it all. This is basically what she sings in the lyrics of the song. In the song, Doja they look about dumb as shit, man. just singing about not caring about what she said and that she'd rather be famous instead, even compares herself to the devil and to a demon. In the opening line, she sings, I said what I said, I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. I don't care, I paint the town red. Openly, Doja Cat is admitting that she sold out in order to be famous. She admits she doesn't care about what she does. Being famous was more important to her. On the bridge of the song, she sings, She's the devil, which she repeats throughout the song. Doja is now openly comparing herself to Lucifer. She continues on the second verse by singing, Money really all that we fiendin' for. I'm doing things they ain't see before. Fans ain't dumb, but extremists are. I'm a demon lord. These lyrics align perfectly with her rebirth imagery. She's embracing her new self. <laughs> it's obvious this song and music are telling a dark story, but what exactly is that story? Well, it's the story of selling your soul for fame in the industry and what that price truly is. In order to understand my point, we have to rewind back about a year to the time when Doja first started to have problems in the industry. Back in March 2022, Doja said out of nowhere she was quitting music. She blamed it on the industry and her fans. Not long after she claimed to be quitting, Doja went and shaved her head and her eyebrows. If you saw my original video on this situation, then you should remember how I broke down that the Egyptians used to shave off their eyebrows in order to mourn the death of a cat. Cats were seen as a symbol of the goddess Bastia to the Egyptians, so this was a tradition to honor the cat goddess. Oh, wow. See, Doja that. just so happens to shave her eyebrows right as she was about to go through this death and rebirth ritual. Mm. It is no coincidence that she did this right before all this death and rebirth imagery was start. It was because this was supposed to represent Doja's death. This moment where Doja shaved her eyebrows was representing the moment of her spiritual death. After that, Doja Cat throws that eyes wide shut theme party where she comes dressed as the woman who gets sacrificed in the Eyes Wide Shut movie. This character she portrays gets sacrificed and taken out, and this is why Doja came dressed up as her. Doja is going to be sacrificing herself in order to be reborn. Occultists have inverted the Christian rebirth process by mocking it through Lucifer. Instead of being reborn through Christ, they are being reborn through the philosophy of Lucifer's do what thou wilt, living free from morality. This was obviously symbolizing her death and rebirth ritual she would be playing out with this upcoming album. After showing herself as a sacrifice offering for her birthday party, we start to see the demon Doja Cat be born. Doja Cat starts tattooing demonic tattoos on her- That's the dumbest tattoo I've ever seen in my life before. Like, it looks like a mermaid, Baphomet, woman, goat. Like, what? Herself ...and posting <laughs> demonic posts on Instagram. Then, just last month, we saw Doja announce Scarlet is here, dropping her new music video where she depicts herself covered weird. in blood, weird. reborn as Scarlet. Everything weird. Doja Cat was doing was leading up to this very moment. In my opinion, Doja Cat sold her soul in order to be rich and famous. She was willing to do whatever it takes to make it. Mm -hmm. She is obviously an occultist as she frequently mm -hmm. uses occult imagery within her music videos and Instagram photos. This is why I found it hilarious when she was acting like the people calling her out for her demonic behavior were reaching, even though she was the one choosing to put all this satanic imagery out there. It's obvious Doja was chosen and she's going to be one of the stars that make it to the very top of the industry. This new music video openly shows exactly what Doja is about. 
At the beginning of the video, the record player starts to play, showing that this is what her music is all about, making her fans fall from grace. At the end of the video, after her eye becomes an embryo and she is reborn, she puts the eyeball back in her head, showing that this is a part of her and this is who she now is. Some people might think Doja is doing all of this to troll, but this is not the case. Doja has been showing Masonic imagery since early on in her career. She has been doing it all subtly. Now she's being fully open now with the satanic imagery. We have to remember Doja is signed to RCA Records, which is under Sony Music, mm. a massive record label. Mm -hmm. Everything she does is planned out by her team. Sony is a Masonic-ran record label, mm -hmm. which is all about pushing the Masonic all them big record labels, man. agenda. The label wouldn't have signed Doja if she hadn't had taken the oath. They down. only give that much fame to those that sell their soul. Mm -hmm. For those that idolize Doja, open your eyes <laughs> and see things for what they really are. Doja is trying to guide her fans to a burning end. Don't <laughs> fall for the manipulation. These artists all choose to sell out for fame and fortune mm -hmm. on a route to a burning end. And the worst part of it all, they take their fans along with them. Doja is admired by millions of young girls who listen to every word she sings. Mm -hmm. They are watching her acting demonic and want to be just like her. Weird. Especially since kids love to watch celebrities rebel. This is exactly what Doja is depicting. A celebrity rebelling against God. These young... Good girl gone bad. And a lot of the images from women, they come in. Look at Rihanna. She started off as a good girl. Gone bad. Follow behind Doja <clears throat> because she is the star they build up to be worshipped. We must <clears throat> remember what purpose the music in the industry plays. <clears throat> Manipulation. Those in control <clears throat> of Doja want all of her young fans to follow right behind her. <clears throat> Don't be manipulated. Protect your mind, body, and soul from <clears throat> this evil. Like I always say, we must remember that every day we wake up, our souls are at stake. Every day we wake up. That's such a fact. Such a fact, man. It's a lot of spiritual warfare going on right now. Like I said, y'all need to wake up. Y'all need to wake up. If you made it to this video, then in some form or fashion, you needed to see this, right? But yeah, Doja Cat is just one of many. One of many. You cannot make it in the industry without selling your soul. It just is what it is, you know? It's sad that you can't like be a good person and be of the light be with god and make it in the industry but it just is what it is guys you know this is their world but in terms of the music industry in terms of every big industry right the devil all up in that shit, you know and in order for you to make it up to the ranks you're gonna have to make sacrifices and it's just not worth my soul it shouldn't be worth yours and it shouldn't have been worth any of these people's souls but some people will do whatever I can't do it man let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below make sure you like comment subscribe all of that tell a friend to tell a friend to they ain't your mama tell they uncle joey spiritual i will see you guys in the next motherfucking video and i love y'all man peace we out baby